Hello, this is my level. It's a uh, team deathmatch underground subway station. I've put it into the uh, UT game, so you can load it up from the Unreal game rather than the editor. I'll be showing off the editor version later on to talk more about the uh, what's going on through the game. This is just going to be a gameplay for now, so just to see, show you what I've done. Uh, as you can see, uh, this is the deathmatch. It's got a uh, random, uh, well not random. It's got paths the players follow, and they just go throughout the map and it's just every man for himself in the deathmatch and uh, it's just got uh, jump spawns it's got custom AR I've got it on it's not just the uh, drop down menu with the six players I've actually had to kismet in all the uh, players I've also got pickups armor pickups gun pickups I've also got this little sequence here where the door's locked and you've got to find a way to open it so the player will jump over this and there'll be a pressure pad on the floor wait a second and then go back and I've also got triggers for the doors jump back down and as you can see the doors open and then you can get the rocket launch from this room which is like the bathroom I've also got a tunnel connecting which I'll show you in a second that goes all the way to the other end of the map sort of like a flanking route I'll show you that here I've also got uh, particle effects sort of like dust flying through this tunnel if you look close, you can see. I'll show you more close later on. Lighting flickering on and off over here, and uh, spotlights. So you and emissive maps on the tube, so it looks like lights emitting from them as well. Right now, I'm just gonna sort out the rest of the gameplay, and then I'll talk more about the team death match, which is gonna be coming up next. Okay, so now this is the uh, team deathmatch, another game tab you can play. I've got all team players is 5 versus 5. My team spawns on this side, the other team spawns on the other side. And they all following paths as well. It's uh, more of the same of what happened first, but this is a team based game. You can do the same things you did in the other, le other level, like uh, get the weapons, pick ups, go through the tunnel, all that stuff. Um, as you can see, I just picked up the rocket launcher. You're gonna go through the tunnel, I think. Also, each bot has its own name, so it's not just random names that the game thinks of. As you can see, I'm on the enemy side now. All the enemies are here trying to farm me. 
everything has collision so you can't just run through walls or run through objects so Oh, you might be able to hear that there's also a uh, music playing in the background that was custom it's not just the default music it's my own music and over here you're gonna see the barrel exploding barrel if you touch it you lose health like that 30 percent health I'll explain more of this in the uh, level walkthrough I'll do in the editor. Okay, now I'm going to talk about the uh, playthrough of the level. Just going to talk a bit about what's going on and how everything was done with all the player parts. As you can see around the level, I've got all the lats, I've got all the player parts, triggers, player spawns. Um, that's the uh, missives and the tubes. I've got all of a prefab set in, so I don't have to keep messing around with the single tap objects. I can just create a prefab and just drop it into the map. This is the uh, spotlight coming out of the vending machine. We've also got uh, other shaped lats, the um, of the hanging off the walls. These are all running in real time, so you can see what's going on. Also got a bit of uh, boxes, cans on the floor, newspaper. Everything's normal map, specular map as well. Some stuff I've got um, on the glass doors. I've got transparency maps on, so you can see through them. That's the, with the vending machines as well. You can see through the glass. All these are pickups I've been putting in that's the uh, particle system you can see running through with the dust through the tunnel got the uh, light function so the lights flicker on and off like that this is where the um, player runs through to so the middle of the map these are the transparency maps on the glass doors as you can see that's where the uh, trigger is for the pressure pad pick up that next way so the player knows where to go everything's rusted up and damp and creaky that, that's the exploding sequence for the barrel as you can go through you can see more player paths so the uh, bots know where to go this is just a little place where there's a another health pickup that's another jump station for the other side of the map where the other people can jump through this gives you a bit more interactivity to the map These are all the enemy player spawn. This is the enemy base. I'm just gonna go throughout the map and show you all the rest of the features. I've got these uh, flickering lights with the functions. This is the flanking route to get to the enemy base. As you can see, I've got two pickups there as well. The vending machine, lights always on, so it looks like the power coming to it. Not all the lights are flickering, so it just looks like a few lights have been broken into. 
got these barriers and all this uh, wooden crates placed on the map so it just doesn't feel empty little debris everywhere as well I've got this little uh, matinee sequence that shows the player where the pressure pad is I'll show you that in a second uh, so basically when the game starts uh, that camera is gonna spin around and show you where the pressure pad is so the player knows that oh there's a pressure pad there maybe I need to step on it something will happen I'm just gonna show you the uh, matinee sequence just now As you can see, camera spins when the game is started. Just to show you where that pressure pad is. Now I'm going to talk about the kismet I've used in the game. I've just grouped everything into little small pieces. These are the triggers for the doors that all or the doors that open. They all separate so that each player can go towards the door and not every door opens all at once. Each door is open separately, but enemy players, team players, whatever. Uh, this is the matinee sequence for the uh, cinematic as you can see it's just disabled for I've been editing through it this is the level music it's quite simple it just plays it's a team that's much nothing about that uh, this is the battle exploding as you can see it's got a modifier health it's got a trigger torch and it's also got a toggle Right, this is the custom AR that I created. Um, what this does is, once the level is loaded, the AR that will spawn will have an initial loop so that if it sees the player, then it will start shooting at the player and it always keep its eye on the player and if it doesn't see the player, then it will stop shooting. I've got all these targets also as well, so that the player has to follow this path. These are all the team spawns for the bots, for the red team and the blue team. As soon as the level is loaded, both teams will spawn and they have a, a death cycle on them so that they will keep spawning once they are killed until the game is actually over because there is a time limit on the game. As you can see there is 5v5 five five, so there is quite a lot of people to spawn in. We are using active factories and attach events. So that was most of my kismet. I'm just going to show you my particle effect now. This is the dust that you see when you walk through the tunnel to modify it quite a lot so you could get the fine particles so it's nothing too heavy. It's just very fine particles of dust you see. This is the uh, light function I used, the add scene and co-scene functions I used so it's random flickering not just on and off so it looks more realistic. And these are all my textures displayed in mom set just for a, a couple of my assets, not all of them. As you can see, I've got the normal map, specular map, and the diffuse map on the side, so you can just see what they look like, and everything's in real time, so you can see what the textures look like as well. And that's been my game video. Hope you enjoyed it. Thank you very much.